what's up boys and girls another cold crappy day here in Nova Scotia uh, we're gonna be diagnosing p0118 code on this LQ4 swapped six liter square body and what's been happening is we actually had two things fail basically right at the same time uh, I had some low fuel pressure so we just put a new pump in but besides the low fuel pressure i think this here sucker is causing a lot of my issues so i would have bought a gm one but napa happened to have one in stock this morning for 21 bucks so i picked this up right there ready to go and uh, the sensors right there on the side of the block pretty easy to change but i want to talk a little bit about this sensor before we dive right into it and fix it so what i'm getting the p0118 code is circuit high voltage now when you undo your wire connector right there and you test it with a multimeter which i've already done you can take my word for it the multimeter's right here what you're looking for with the key on is half a volt so 0 0.5 volts and you can take your ground through that wire as well you don't have to ground off your battery so you want 0 0.5 volts going to this sensor now what happens is as this sensor and as your motor warms up is this sensor has a resistor into it that'll actually reduce the voltage going to your ecu so again as this gets warmer the voltage reading going to your computer should get lower. So let's say you have this sensor, you wanna test it. When you put this in water and heat it up, as it heats up, you're gonna get a lower voltage number out of it, okay? And what happens is, is at a cold start, uh, today it's like minus three out, at a cold start is when you'll see the most voltage on your computer. And what happens is, as the motor warms up, um, as the motor warms up, the computer doesn't see this voltage drop if this sensor has failed. And that's what'll give you a high voltage code. So even though we wire tested it with the multimeter and we're only getting 0 0.5 volts, so we're actually not getting too much voltage from the computer, because the motor's warming up and the sensor's not functioning, it's still giving us high voltage to what it wants to see. So even though I've tested it and I'm getting 0 0.5, as the motor warms up, um, it's not giving less voltage to the computer. So just to verify what I just said, so basically even though the motor's warming up, this sensor's telling it that it's still cold. So right now I just said it's minus three degrees Celsius out. And look at here on the scanner. The scanner live data right now with the key on is showing me negative 39 degrees Celsius. So this just totally verifies what I just said. And what we're gonna wanna do is when we put our new sensor in, we're gonna watch this number and it should become more realistic. Like it's today, like I said, it's minus two, minus three. So we don't want to be trying to start under minus 39 conditions. That's what's causing a lot of this headache here. And sometimes it'll start and run decent. If you watch the end of the last video with the new fuel pump installed, sometimes it starts like a real bag of crap. And I've had it die on me driving down the road, whether or not it was from fuel pressure or from this sensor. Um, I'm actually kind of leaning more towards the sensor because even though the new fuel pumps installed I still kind of have the same symptom so I wouldn't say I wasted my money because the fuel pump that was in it was only giving us 40 psi under throttle which is too low but that being said with the new fuel pump I still got the same symptom so um, the sensor probably was most of this issue so that being said, I'm going to get the old sensor out, put the new sensor in. We're going to see if the live data starts looking a little more realistic. And if it 
does, then we're going to go ahead and fire it up and hopefully the thing will be fixed. Alright, so we got the new sensor in. Actually, I'm going to lie to you, we don't get the new sensor in because the new sensor was a bigger thread, but I had a spare sensor and I put it in. And lo and behold, look at here, we're getting a little more accurate data. I just fired it up literally before this video started. And uh, already we're seeing an improvement here in the temperature reading. As the motor warms up, this is slowly going to climb, right? So that's looking pretty good. The truck's definitely way happier. It's starting to rate up. There was no bucking and foolishness. So uh, I think it's safe to say the fuel pressure was my biggest issue. Um, I changed this sensor first, obviously, because it was much easier to do. But I think this one that I got from the junkyard was NFG. Because with this one already, my fans have started to run. And again, you guys seen what my uh, what my scanner was showing. So now this looks like it's working a little better. I'll get it up for a test drive just to make sure. But I think we finally got the square body all geared up again, ready for towing. Well, boys and girls. The old square body is working mint. It loves this new fuel pump. So as long as it holds up, I'll be very happy with the way this is working now. Finally got all the stupid little things dealt with. And also I lucked out, I found a, a local friend who had a 6 liter 5 speed original that I was able to pull the tune off of. Actually have a, a proper five-speed factory GM tune on this truck other than the few modifications I make instead of trying to take that old automatic tune that was on it and converting that over to try to make it work it's just a lot easier to figure out this way so now I'm just waiting on a speedo cable and uh, this old girl's geared ready to work 